Oh my gosh, he actually ate the Warhammer Titan. What is going on, you beautiful human being? Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're reacting to Attack on Titan episode 66 called Assault. If you like the video, hit the like button. Let's just jump straight into this. Damn, okay. So that's, we saw Galliot, Porco. He got his jaw sliced by Captain Levi out of nowhere. And he was like, is that Levi? <laughs> Ackerman. <laughs> And that was the thing, is like, can't you see I'm a titan? Like, you guys are humans, why are you just attacking me? You're supposed to be scared. They're the devils of paradise. Oh, man, that is bad. But I, like, obviously it's not just the main team that we know of, right? There's obviously other people who have joined the squad. Those people are going to be the ones who actually get killed. You know, like they wouldn't just have Connie die in something like that. The Car Titan. Oh. Damn. Oh, the Warhammer Titan is still at it. Crazy. But didn't he like disconnect that umbilical cord? There's another one. Oh my gosh, it's Zeke. Because we never actually saw where he went, if you know what I mean. Dude, Zeke has like a crazy presence, dude. Oh my gosh, wait. Now that I think about it, he can use the power of the founding titan through Zeke. Kill him all. Think about it. The way he did to Zeke's mom, Dina, he can do that to Zeke. Damn, round two with Levi. <laughs> Man, it's crazy how, like, as I put on the episode, I'm already like, I can't stop smiling. But the thing I was saying is that two things. First of all, it's round two between Levi and the Beast Titan. And then second of all, Eren can use that ability, the Scream, to control all these guys by through the beast titan because remember he didn't want to do it to historia and that's like one of the powers of the car titan is that it can carry machine guns you know but the thing is they're so good dude they're so agile they're so like devastating that even with titans like attacking them three uh, people that have the power of the titan of the nine they can still Fight. Ruger. <laughs> but what is Falco gonna do? Because he actually did. Oh. Reiner transformed. Oh, wow. He's dead. Oh, in a dormant state. That's like the third time we've seen in the show that Reiner goes into one of these states. Like, he's actually done, you know. Like, mentally, emotionally, physically. I mean, yeah, he says it himself. Just kill me. I wonder if Falco's gonna eat him. But, like, he would need to use the... Um, the injection to become a titan then you would be able to have to eat him see how his face is like the same as the armor titan which is interesting because their actual original body doesn't um transform wow Dude. He's hiding somewhere. Oh man, my teeth are useless against that. Oh, 
Man, if you had anything left, you would stab me through my nape. But I have plenty. What is he gonna do? What? He still has more fights in him. Dude, the way he can just keep transforming is crazy. Bro, PX sounds so crazy. Like, I thought it was a guy the whole time. Like, in the beginning. Right, because remember Zeke took the ODM gear so they know everything about it. So there's no escape. Crazy. They can't do the rumbling. Well, focus on protecting the war chief from Akaman. Like, that's how dangerous Levi is. And now he's just gonna start throwing. But that's what I said earlier, right? I was like, Aaron Yeager is not my enemy. If I said if they all transform, then of course they're gonna be in trouble. Someone else comes first. Oh, Levi. Watch if Zeke is something else. Man, imagine he just gives him the injection now. I still feel like he's gonna become the armor titan. Or at least one of them. It's the only way. Get your ship out of here. Who's this? Oh my gosh, is that Armin? Bro, they're in trouble. They're in trouble. Here comes the Colossal. Here comes the Colossal. Wow. Dude, you see how Armin look? He's just like, what's up, brother? I'm here to take it all. That's insane. Oh man, here we go. The Colossal. <laughs> they stole from Bertolt. Man, he's going straight after Eren. The other Ackerman. It's like, it's like, how do they recognize them like that, you know? Wow! Levi! He showed himself while they got distracted. Dude, imagine being so strong you can take out a whole titan by yourself. Wow! Oh my gosh, a grenade on the nape. Wow. What a fight. This is an insane fight, dude. Come on, Sasha. You know you can one tap them. <laughs> dude got tapped, bro. Pop, pop. John. Wow, bro, I don't know, this episode is so crazy right now. Yeah, dude, the scouts are on a different level. Oh my gosh, the eyeball is completely out. Whoa, man, my thing is this, right, is like, what more can you do? Isn't this supposed to be like the Great War? And then there's all these other episodes left as well. So it's like, once this ends, then like, what happens after that? 
who becomes the enemy. Dude, look at Armin. And he's obviously able to control, like, probably better than Berthold because of his intelligence. Because he's had, what, four years? Bro, Armin's completely changed. But, I mean, are these the sorts of sights you saw? Berthold. Oh, wow. Because he can see everything. John. Man, he got emotional right at the end. Wow, she took a big beating. Oh, Commander Magus. Bro, but like Zeke got taken out pretty quickly. Like, is he like, is Levi that much better than him? Wow, the right hook. Oh, oh my gosh, the movement. Going for the nape. Oh, he used her to. Wow, smart. Oh, he's gonna try take her or something. No. Oh, he exposed her. Wow, so the jaw titan is able to slice through the titan hardening ability. But it's not that strong, but it's very agile and fast. I'm thinking we should leave Reiner out of it. Oh man, they're doing that thing again with the airship where um, Zeke does the scream and makes him transform. Is that Hanji? Oh, right, because remember they said they have um people who are working with the marlians with paradise island this guy must be one of them because he i think he's from that other family that um willie was talking to now that it's come to this dude everybody looks so different now Oh, okay, so it's their means of escape. Wow! Both hands. Or well, both feet, I mean. Right in front of Eren. Oh my gosh. Oh. Like, how many uh, titans could you possibly eat, though? Wow, he's shredding it so you can get the claws or something. Oh, he's gonna crush the jaw and then free her. Dude, Eren's become a monster. You're kidding me. Incredible. I mean, did he not say I'm gonna kill them all? All those years ago. I still feel like Mikasa just... Has this look in her eye about Eren that's like nothing that we've seen before. Oh my gosh, he actually ate the Warhammer Titan. He actually did it. Wow, if he. My gosh, dude. That would not. I think you'd lose your mind. If you had all that power Hammer Titan, Jaw Titan, the founding. Um, Titan, you would literally go crazy. Like, you wouldn't even know what normal is anymore.
Wow. She's screaming like crazy. Can you please be quiet? Is he gonna get so angry for them to keep quiet that he's just gonna wake up? He's gonna stop him. The armored titan enters. Just let me die in peace. What? That was fast. Man, that was insanely fast, that whole episode. Crazy though. Absolutely insane. Eren actually ate the Warhammer Titan. I don't know how it works though. Like, how long does he have to wait to be able to use that Titan's abilities? But what I was basically saying is that as a normal, like, human being, not even a human being because they are Eldians, but any single person like that just like kanye west says no one man should have all that power like no matter how you look at it if he has the jaw titan if he has the warhammer if he has the founding if he has all this titan power flowing through him then he essentially becomes like ymir the first one right because she had all the titan's powers and then when she died she gave it like spread out to the nine so i think anything that gets close to that like normal society and stuff doesn't really matter to you because you literally become like a god you would end up trying to probably kill everyone there wouldn't be any like reasoning behind it so that's just by him even having the warhammer titan and not just that remember he's now got all the memories of the warhammer titan so what is he gonna figure out what more memories are gonna flood into his mind and make him realize oh wait i'm thinking about things this way now because remember he already changed when he got his dad's memories so now let's see what happens but man levi taking out the beast titan within a second we saw the car titan almost get completely dismantled and then john classic john showed there at the end where you know falco was like you know don't do it or stop or whatever and then he hesitated and that's why he missed the thunder spear because he could have actually finished it off there and then you saw armin armin looked different as well he kind of had that same look that Bertolt had where you know he's he's like is this what you saw because he saw that one child is lying under the rubble because he's standing way above and you can see everything you can see the whole wall for what's happening he looks at the whole war zone and it's like this is a travesty whereas other people can only see where they're fighting you seeing everything but it's cool to see him transform and yeah wow now they're using that ship to try get everybody out so and maybe this is just gonna be the first fight you know i was saying like what they're gonna do after this big war but this might just be the first battle they might regroup again and then the next fight might even take place on paradise island that would be great i think that'll be cool because it'll really close that loop of how it opened and how it ends you know but man really good episode of attack on titan great as usual but that's going to be it for me if you like the video smash the like button subscribe if you want i'm going to leave the last episode right up over here thanks for watching if you're watching i'm out peace in a bit